It's Monday. It's probably very loud in here because there is a giant fan over there. I am outside the green venue. I'm volunteering today, so I've been venue support running back and forth between silver and green all night. And now I am the green venue captain for their final show, Meatball Seance. And because I'm here, I'm gonna go see it. So I'm gonna go enjoy Meatball Seance and I will definitely talk about that show. And I also interviewed an artist the other day uh, and that didn't fit in with the other stuff I had. So we'll add that interview in here. Get ready for a wardrobe change. I'm back at the fringe artist table. Mary is here because she's been harassing me. Yes, mostly that. No, because she's participating. And uh, actually, Lisa Ikigami, who was one of the paintings that I used earlier, uh, it was the King, uh, is it a King? King of Hearts. Yeah, King of Hearts, um, which is a painting I used to review earlier, is here at the artist table, so let's talk to her. All right, so this is Lisa's beautiful display. Uh, so how long have you been doing art? Oh, God. Um, well, I don't want to say how long because then you'll know how old I am. But <laughs> I was is little, you know, yeah. very small. My dad was an artist and he um, taught me how to paint um, when I was very little. He would take me out on, like, out down to the boat docks and teach me how to paint. So, um, but really my, my background is in architecture. I have a master's in architecture and I did that for about 20 years professionally. So when my kids were kind of on their way out growing up, then I decided to do fine art and... Uh, so oh, it's awesome. probably uh, professionally only been, I want to say about maybe 12 years or something like that. But that's really so, cool yeah. that you went from architecture yeah. to adorable bunnies. Thank you. <laughs> well, I also write and illustrate children's books. Okay. So that's kind of, you know, where my heart is. Too, and are so. they about bunnies? Uh, I have one about a bunny. Well, I, I only have one book published so far. I'm working on a book about rabbits. Um, and one about an owl and one about a little person, little child. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Very, Love very animals, cool. though. This is my this is my rabbit. Yeah. His name is Whisper. Oh, so. this is a real rabbit. <laughs> this is my rabbit that I own, oh. and he's just my muse. And I did these this afternoon because he was just there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Back it up to okay. <laughs> you did these this afternoon. Yeah, I was like, yes. I knew I was coming Define down here. Define this afternoon. Um, <laughs> between twelve and maybe five thirty. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is five and a half hours of pure magic. <laughs> well, clearly. thank you. I've done a lot of it, it, and so it just goes pretty fast for me, you know, yeah, most right. of the time. Awesome. So, especially especially animals, because I've done them so many times. So. And uh, I only Hi. just learned recently that this is painted with alcohol ink and not watercolor, yeah. despite a similarity in look. But I guess it is, like, very vibrant, and watercolor yeah. tends to not well, be as vibrant. Well, it's on a special kind of surface, which is called Yupo. It's a, it's a brand, Yupo brand, but it's like a plastic, almost mm. like... Um, Photo paper. Oh, okay. okay, and you can paint with watercolor, but it's not as stable. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to me to last. If you use watercolor and you get water on it, then it'll go away. So this I like a little bit better because it's not as sticky and yes. it, it dries better. So. Well, it's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good. It turns out, and I should address this, that I interviewed Lisa last year, and I didn't remember because I'm ashamed. No. <laughs> well, partially that, but mostly because she had a completely so different type of art last year. It did not involve rabbits, <laughs> and it was <laughs> it was that wax. Uh, it was a like Wizard of Oz themed poppy field that was done in wax. And so I will link to that video down here so you can check out what she did last year and just see the wide array of art that she creates. I was gonna go find a beautiful piece of art to talk about Meatball Seance with, but turns out that my show was one of the latest ones, so they are locking up. So instead you get my car and the trees and just me talking about a great show. The premise of Meatball Seance is that John Michael is you, making meatballs in order to summon the spirit of his mother so that she can meet his boyfriend and approve of him. And it's got heavy audience participation because he calls people up to be his boyfriend and also his best friend and also the vessel that will hold the spirit of his mother. And it's hysterical. Like, 
I laughed through almost this entire show. The energy is wild. He is a wild and crazy performer. When I first read about this show, I was thinking, man, how is somebody going to fill Green Venue with this premise? The answer is easily. He may be one of the most energetic performers I've seen all fringe. It just radiates off of him. It's very, very impressive. He keeps that energy up for that entire hour. I saw him just before the show because I was doing Venue Captain. He goes, oh man, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to have the energy. Well, he had the energy and then some and a little bit of extra and probably a little bit of extra on top of that. It was really, really impressive. It was very, very funny. It's a clever show. The way that he does the little bits is really funny. His comedic timing is on point and also his ability to use stillness and silence is also pretty commendable. I really liked that show. I would highly recommend it if you can fit it into your schedule. It's over at Green Venue. It's a riot and I'm sure you will have a good time. So that's it for me tonight. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna not sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow.